Rockwood 212HW, higher than high wall pop-up, A-frame style here at Haylet Auto and RV of Coldwater, Michigan. That's a mouthful. Whew. Anyway, this is uh, this is the newer, bigger version of the extremely popular Rockwood um, A122 series, the normal A-frame series from Rockwood. There were some folks who really liked them but wanted them just a little bit bigger, so Rockwood delivered, and they really did a nice job of it. Um, the front storage trunk, because this thing was getting so big, it was hard for shorter people to reach in there. So they split it. You have a lower side with a full pull-out trough here that's easy to access. And then, up top you see that you have a separate segmented front storage. So you don't have to be 10 feet tall to reach down here and get to everything. Um, this, like the normal A122s, is fully vacuum laminated. If you need an explanation of what that means, don't hesitate to give us a call. Also, real quick, I want to mention, these are not the wheels that go on this camper. This is the wheel that is on this camper when it is shipped on a semi-truck. These come in a semi-truck, double-deckered, with uh, seven pop-up campers to a load. Because this camper is getting so big, they had to put small tires on it just for shipping. You will get, with this camper, a nice aluminum uh, rimmed wheel just like this one. Uh, so don't feel like, holy cow, I can't believe they skimped on that. What a bunch of boneheads. It's, it's not the case. Uh, one of the more recent updates on these hard side pop-up campers is this uh, high wind strut assist system. Some folks were uh, explaining to Rockwood that when they tried to open the camper up at, uh, you know, in windy situations, the lid would just kind of flip open and, you know, scare them a little bit. Well, now you don't have to worry about that. Also, notice you do have a water heater, standard item on here. Uh, that's going to, you know, give you 11 gallons of hot water per hour on a, out of a six gallon vessel. Propane operated, by the way. Front and rear scissor jacks. And this is one of those areas where this thing really starts to get uh, kind of somewhere between a pop-up and a travel trailer. It's almost a fold down camper instead of a pop-up camper, like a fold down full travel trailer. Now, someone asked me, what is this back bar right here? This has a power lift system because not everyone's six foot three like I am. Not everybody can reach up there. So they have a 12 volt lift assist installed on this. And I will show you how that works later. These things are so easy to set up that I can show you how to operate this camper, take it up and down with only one hand. It's that simple. Underneath the big rear bed is a huge storage compartment to complement the front storage, and you have an extra storage pocket right here. Um, now, one thing I do want to mention in these uh, Rockwoods is you have a very large grilling bar here. You see uh, this little rail right here. There's an RVQ grill you can mount on this with a little resin work table that goes beside it. Uh, basically, you can put the grill on the left or right, so you're good if you're right or left-handed. It doesn't matter. Outdoor speaker connects right to your stereo for entertainment purposes. And again, another area where this is a little more like a travel trailer is a big folding assist entry handle. Let's step inside. Now, uh, in case you're wondering, this bigger camper clocks in at 2,474 pounds. So really, not too bad. Still very minivan towable, especially considering when you go down the road, the whole thing folds down. You don't get a headwind from semis and big vans passing you. Uh, just like the A120, this is a bigger A122S is exactly what this is. You have the, uh, you know, the same front dinette. This can still fold down into a bed. It's actually a little bit bigger. Um, everything in this, I, I could say that, this is all a little bit bigger. Um, now, these uh, skylights, just like in the A122S, they're deceptively deep. If you watch my hand, you see how far in this goes. So you can sit here right next to the sidewall, still have room for somebody beside you, play cards, eat dinner, eat breakfast, or just shoot the breeze with a camping buddy. Uh, you still get a couple big windows in here that open for cross ventilation. Um, just like the A122S, we like to add a 12 volt ceiling vent fan for a, uh, a non 30 amp way to cool your camper. If you want to get some fresh air in here instead of running an air conditioner that's built into it, you can do that. More on the AC in a minute. Um, Kind of like the, the 12 volt ceiling vent fan you see down here and the propane furnace go hand in hand. If you're uh, not plugged into park power, you can still heat or cool the unit. Uh, I do like to point out there is still storage underneath this dinette seat here. And again, as compared to the A122S, you get just a little bit more of everything. Um, flipping around to the kitchen area here, this is one of the areas where it starts to really differentiate itself. Because the walls are taller, they could put in a bigger refrigerator. So. 
you get a bigger fridge in this as compared to the A122S. Uh, the microwave has moved over here and they've added some extra kitchen drawer space. Um, you know, they open up every ounce of room they could. And you notice you now have a two basin sink instead of a single basin sink. And you get a high rise faucet with it. The faucet is removable so you can fold the wall down without busting it. Now take a look at the big open space here. You can either put a TV there or plug in a griddle. And man, you're, you're in the middle of griddle country. You're cooking breakfast now. Uh, the bed is bigger in this as compared to the A122S. Uh, this is a normal queen bed, not a, uh, I think a full, it's somewhere between a full and a queen. Uh, you still have the, uh, people still call on this all the time. This is just a little clothes rack right here. Just a little place to hang, uh, you know, some shirts and things. You still have LED lights all the way uh, inside and out here. Uh, that is going to keep the power draw off your battery down if you're dry camping, and you're not going to have to hassle with replacing bulbs all the time. Um, over here, when we go to the high wall series, which is funny because the A122S is already a high wall, so this is that's why I call this a higher than high wall. Anyway, it, it basically it's six extra inches tall and a little bit longer. Um, we go up to a full oven and stove with this really sweet countertop flush glass top so you can use that like extra counter space and you have a full oven now again more storage drawers below now this little guy right here i always like to take time to talk about this is a heat pump and it's two directional um how can i explain just like a uh, an air conditioner that you put in the window of your house you know how that works it pushes cold air in it pushes hot air out this does the same thing the difference is it's two directional it can push cold air into the camper. It can push hot air into the camper. It can do either. It just depends on which way you set it. And that is easily controlled right over here. You just put this on heat or cool and it does all the stuff for you. Um, one other thing I like to show you is the big storage space right here under this bed. And you can get to it from inside or outside. And you see the little porta potty there. That's a standard item that comes with this camper so that if it's the middle of the night, you gotta make an emergency trip to the bathhouse, but it's raining, now you don't gotta worry about it. But here's what's cool. This is so easy to operate. Again, I only have one hand, one. I'm going to set, take this camper down with only one hand while uh, explaining to you how it works and operating a uh, camera with the other hand. Very lightweight, all laminated. Everything's aluminum framed, just like Rockwood's big high dollar fifth wheels. It's just smaller construction. Now you just kind of pop the door open a little bit here to have that right about there. When you pop that latch down, you can pull the door in, bring the wall down over you, and you actually sneak through the doorway. Open the latch to let yourself out. And that's really the hardest part. The hardest part is done. Because now, we walk over here to this little retract button. You push this, she brings herself right down for you. that's all there is to it. You let the machine do the work for you. There's no big heavy lifting required with this thing. It can go down, it can go up, just like this with the simple push of one button. That's all there is to it. And again, with those high wind uh, strut assists, you don't have to worry about the wind catching this thing and ripping it open. It's so easy to operate. I timed it uh, a few minutes ago. I think it was about 30 seconds up 30 seconds down that's all there really is to it and that lift has a tension sensor on it so when you get it all the way up or down it stops it can't over torque itself you can't over open it you can't over close it it's as close to idiot proof as it can get if if a guy like me can get this done with one hand, I am confident you can get it done easily and have a great time. So give us a call and learn even more. 800-256-5196. Halet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Thank you, everybody. Take care. Stay safe. Happy camping.